Hey guys, it's Deanna. Today I'm going to be using a kit from the shop Planning Choco or Planning Choco. I'm not exactly sure how to say it, but it's right here and it will be linked down below. I found her shop uh, actually through Instagram. I was just kind of on the search page and one of her kits popped up and so I clicked on it and she was actually having a sale at the time. Her kits are about, I think, $4 for four sheets, which is a really great price. And then with the sale on top of that, I decided to pick up a couple kits, this being one of them. This is her bling kit, and um, I thought it would be a great one to use for the week of Mother's Day, which is this week, so the 8th through the 14th, Mother's Day being on Sunday. And it does come with, or it doesn't come with, but there are three different options for this girl. Uh, I think there's a light hair, a dark hair, and then a darker skinned girl. Um, I think this is the darker hair, but you can pick which one you want to purchase with which girl you want. So I will quickly run through what comes in the kit. So on this page you have your full boxes and your heart checklists, a couple of half boxes, and then a couple appointment labels. On this page you get your headers and little things, eight hydrates, more half boxes, four quarter boxes, your sidebars with some habit trackers over here and a bill due, and then a couple of three heart checklists. Then you have your icons and a movie marquee, some flags, your um, heart checklist flags, three heart checklists, your cut washi, and then your bottom washi. And then this page is your glitter headers, date covers, date dots, some deco, and then your big uh, double box which I want to be, I kind of want to use it, but I don't think, I don't think it's going to work just because I am using these printables again. I'll have them linked down below, but the spacing is larger than the Erin Condren. I'm going to try cutting it and see if that works. Otherwise, I haven't, I'm going to incorporate her, this, I, uh, this piece of deco so that I can get the, the, the girl in it. So I also pulled out, oops. I pulled out these glitter, it's not, it's not the glitter tape, it's just, they're, I'm not sure what they're called. Oh, glitter ribbon. Um, it's not sticky on the back. These aren't the sticky ones, but they are from Michaels. Could, because I'm going to change it up from what I've been doing with the washi on the bottom. I think what I'm going to do is cut the washi in half and then use that to go across the bottom and then I'm going to use, I haven't decided yet if I want to use the silver or the brown. I think I'm going to use the brown actually just because it is like a rose gold that's in this and the brown is the closest I have. So I think I'm going to use the brown. So I'm going to do that and then I'm also going to cut that double box and just see if it works and I'll show you guys if it works or not. So I will be right back. Okay, so what I did is I just cut this, these in half and I'm gonna try to layer those across. And then I did, let's try this first because I didn't test it out yet. I wanted to put this on like Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, and I get, again, I'm using up the old April ones because I don't have the May ones and I had these cut and ready to go and I just didn't use them. So that's why the dates are off, but it will be the 8th through the 14th. But it also might look funny because I like chopped her head. That's not good, but um, I don't want to like put it, see, it's still too big. Um, I just kind of want to like gently, and it's also a really big box. It covers up both of those full boxes almost fully. But let's see, because I don't have, at least I don't think I have a ton of stuff going on. I think that looks weird. What do you guys think? Yeah, that looks weird to me. So I'm not going to use that, which hopefully I can now peel this up, which I was kind of really hoping to be able to use that because that's such a pretty, 
um, that's such pretty art right there, but I don't think I will. And I just put this down, so this is probably not going to peel up easily, so. Okay, so I actually got that up, and it didn't really peel any of the paper, just a little bit right there. So that didn't work, but I do think I know how to incorporate that uh, girl because I really want to. So I think what I'm going to do now is the bottom washi. So I will do that. And then I'm going to put, I cut these, these strip down, these strips down as well. So I'm going to um, double sided tape those on as well. Okay, so I just had to go down and grab this glue stick because the double-sided tape was not working. It's a really weird backing on these since it's not um, it's not the tape, but I think the glue stick will work. And so I got those both down, so yay. And I think it looks pretty. I think it actually is going to work well. It is a lot thicker than obviously a piece uh, a sticker, but I think it's going to it's going to be, it's going to work well. So I'm going to go in with the date covers and then I'll probably put the glitter headers across the top and then again I will be right back. Okay, so there are the date covers and the glitter headers, and I've been trying to think, because I don't think I'm going to be using uh, these heart uh, check boxes. I think I want to use the, where are they, the flags this week. But I don't want to just stick them in there. So I think, let me see, where's the washi? I just have it, it's right here. I like... Let me move this out of the way, because that got a little bit. I like this middle-sized one, so I think what I'm going to do is... Let's see, where are the... Oh, they're here, okay. I don't know if I want to match... Okay, that's okay. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this middle strip... And I'm going to stick it down here, like so. And then I'm going to take a to-do header. I'm going to put it the, kind of at the bottom, like that. So then I would go in with, I think I'm going to leave out the blue. So I'll go in with the pink. I'm going to do this all the way across, but I did want to mention that uh, her kits come with the cut files, so that's why mine have the cut marks in the corner, and so that's really helpful. I can't pull that up. I do like when kits or, yeah, I guess, well, shops include the cut files in their kits. Um, I'm still not going to do it. I, I have kind of thought about it, but just because it is against policy, I still just think I'm going to include the blackout files. But it is really nice when kits do actually come with with cut files. It just makes it a little bit easier, but again, the blackout files is just like one extra step, so 
and I also don't know if I mentioned this, but I did print this on matte paper. I did try printing it. It's frustrating. I did try printing it on the premium matte paper that I have, but I think I mentioned this before that for whatever reason, my printer hates that paper. It comes out fine, and then the last maybe like bottom, like that much, probably like that washi strip length, it just it messes it up and I don't know why. It'll cut it fine and everything. It doesn't mess with the cut marks, but it just, it kind of like double prints. I don't know if that makes sense. That probably doesn't make sense, but it prints it like twice on top of each other. So it's not even. So it came out really pretty. The, I printed the full box page and it looked really nice, but unfortunately I couldn't use it. So I did print it on matte. It still looks really good. The colors are, really nice so still happy about that the kit I'm gonna use for my next video I did is one of my kits and I did print it on glossy and that came out really nice too so let's end with that and then let's see I'm gonna do that and then where are my scissors I'm going to let's see how many will fit four. So I'm going to cut these down to four. So I'll just cut one, two, three, four. I'll cut across like this. Okay. And I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's eight. So I think I'm gonna do blue in the middle just because the header is blue. And I'll just go like that. So then we'll do pink. And I'm just doing it this way just so that the last couple, let's see, I've done two. They've just kind of felt kind of cluttered. And that was partly because of like the washi, the way I had to do the washi, which I still really like that way. I think it's pretty and I think it's a good way to incorporate the washi. This one works this way because it's just kind of like a graphic pattern. But if you had one with maybe like a design or like a piece of like a clip art or something on it, it might not work as well. So it's just a couple different options so that you can still use the washi or you can use regular washi like I mentioned before as well. I didn't have anything that really matched. So I, I thought that was a good way to incorporate that. So now let's move to... The full boxes. Oops. Gonna throw this out. And right there. I don't love the ring. Um, it doesn't really. I mean, if this if this was being used maybe as like a wedding kit or something, maybe the ring would work. But I'm not using it for that purpose. So what I was thinking, and I don't know if this is gonna work either, is I can take her. And I was going to try to like cover it as much as I could. I don't know if that's going to work because it's got the... I can do that. Oops. I might have to do that. Or I could just stick her on here. I'm going to use this in the sidebar just because there is no quote box. Um, shoot. um, yeah, I'm going to cover this. It might not look perfect, but I don't like the ring, so, and it has no significance. And I think that's okay. It doesn't look the, <laughs> it honestly doesn't look the best, but... I'm okay with it. 
So I'm going to let's see. I'm going to stick it up here and cover that the loops of the April. Oh, I can never get this straight. I'm not sure what to line it up with. There. And that's just peeking out a little bit of pop, but that's okay. So we'll do that, and I guess I'll just do my sidebar right now. I'm going to hold off till the end to fill that out. So. Do I want to put my full boxes on the bottom or I think I'm going to put them in the middle this week. So let's go in with some glitter headers and the majority, let's see, I'm going to go in with the pinks glitter headers. Okay. Um, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna use them all. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I kind of like the phone. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick the phone in on Thursday. And then, we'll separate, or spread out the, um, ones with like the clip art stick at the top I just thought the colors and even like the champagne and stuff kind of worked really well for uh, Mother's Day uh, let's stick this yeah let's stick this on Mother's Day and I did actually um that sale, Instagram sale with all the shops was happening last week and I ordered from uh, Rose Colored Days and I got one of her um, foiled like holiday sheets so I'm excited for that to come because it should have like a like Merry Christmas, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Father's Day. Happy New Year's, Happy New Year's Eve, things like that. And it's going to be foiled in gold. So I'm excited for that to come in. It'll probably be a while because I'm sure they had a bunch of sales, but that's okay. I don't mind waiting. That and then these last two will go here. Oh, that was a little quick. And then here. Ugh. Okay. So now I'm just going to go in with probably the little things. And we'll do... I wrote down the TV shows for this week, but I don't, there's, there's more TV shows than there are TV little things. So we'll see which ones are important. But what I was thinking, um, Tuesday has the most. So what I think I'll do is there's three heart checklists and I have three shows on that night, so I think I'm actually going to use one of these. We'll use the blue one. And so I'm going to stick that down here. I said Tuesday, right? Yep. For the TV shows. And then, so that'll work there. And then Monday is... Kevin can wait, which isn't, I mean, I don't know really why I watch that show. It's kind of funny, but it's the finale. I don't want to use blue. Um, it's just something 
to watch, I guess, on Monday. And then The Great Indoors, which I also think that's the finale. And that's crooked, but that's okay. And then Wednesday is The Goldbergs. And then Thursday is The Big Bang Theory. Because Superstore ended... I don't know if you guys um, watched Superstore, but it was the finale last Thursday, and so I don't know how I felt about it. They didn't really end it in like a funny way, so I'm kind of like, hmm, what's going to happen next season? So that'll be interesting. I'm just trying to see... Because I have Survivor on, but we don't watch it, but I could still mark it. Survivor, The Amazing Race, Shark Tank. I guess I could I actually do have enough. So we'll do Survivor. Have you guys been watching The Amazing Race? I kind of like this. I stopped watching it for a while. Like I was watching all the seasons and then I kind of stopped watching it for a while and then for whatever reason I started watching this one I think it was kind of because I was intrigued by the um they're gonna pair you up with stranger concept what did I say yes and so I actually kind of have been liking this season I love I love Becca and Floyd I don't know if you guys watch it you know who I'm talking about they're hilarious I love them together and I hope they stay friends forever all right so we'll do that and then I was thinking she has these flags and usually um the weekdays I usually do a lot of designing and stuff just because I have Time at night to do that so I was thinking I might stick these in kind of like how J. Crew plans done does it and I'm just gonna write design on them but usually Saturday is too so usually uh, Wednesday I might not put anything I don't know Wednesday's kind of like the I don't get a lot done on Wednesday for whatever reason so I'm just gonna stick these maybe up at the top here For whatever reason, I can't get anything like straight on these. Close enough. Um, what did I say Wednesday? So I'm going to go in with this one. She has four glittered ones and then one non-glittered one. And this is one thing I'm going to actually be changing. I'm going to redo another reformat, I think, of my kits. And I'm going to add five of the larger flags just because... If people do like to mark them for work, usually it's like a five-day week or whatever, or if they're working like party. Sufficient enough. Oh, shoot. I just said I wasn't going to put this on Wednesday. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And then I think there's a couple other things I'm going to switch up. Nothing too dramatic, but I do like to keep it changing. And with like the, the new planners coming out some things just need to be switched up I think so I'm gonna do that it'll be in the next couple of kits that come out okay so we'll do that and then let's see on Monday I know I'm gonna have to get gas so I'm just gonna use this and I think that's mm, nope there's one other thing I'm gonna mark on Monday so probably a little thing and that's just that my plan with me shoot you guys I didn't leave any room for my exercise looks like stupid if I stick that up there kind of all right that's okay actually um because I have it over here, 
pretty much I do the same thing every week anyway, so maybe I won't mark those this week. So, but I do want to mark the, sorry, I'm all over this place because I want this, I'm going to use this little piece of washi here. No, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. That makes sense to me. I am going to use this heart. Okay, here we go. This is for plan with me, this plan with me going live. And then I'll just stick this there because I have to get gas on uh, whatever day that is, Monday. So then Tuesday, I'm probably just going to leave it like that. Wednesday, she does have doo -doo -doo, a little coffee mug because I wanted to mark, but first coffee. So we'll stick that in there and then I want to mark a pre-upload for Friday's video because I usually do that on Friday. So I'm going to take this orange quarter box and stick that there and then she's just kind of underneath her date dots. Um, I'm going to take the uh, blue heart and just stick that in there. So there's that and then oh shoot you guys. I wanted to put the weekend banner in. It's a really cute weekend banner. Um, actually, you know what? We can stick it up here. It's tough when you use new kits. You, for, you don't know how to... I don't really want to cover up that deco on there, so we'll overlap the, uh, whatever that called. The <laughs> glitter header. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's that, and that's a really cute, um weekend banner. I love that. Okay. So, okay. There's that Thursday. Um, so design, and then I marked that I wanted to kind of schedule a couple more, um, what is it called? Uh, kits for the upcoming months. I have most of them planned out for the next month or so into June, but I want to make sure that I have them planned out a little bit further along. So I might just go in with another quarter box. We'll use this pink one. I just feel like I might have time on Thursday. If not, I might get it done before or after. It doesn't really matter. Just so that it gets done at some point. Uh, does she have any? She's got a little computer. Mm, it's not a computer. Um, mm, nothing really works. Mm, that's okay. So moving on to Friday. Friday will be payday. Yay! That's over here. So we'll stick that down. And then. Um, let's see, I wanted to use another, we'll use the pink heart to mark the rewind going live. Like that, and then I did want to stick in this little nail polish sticker, it got kind of cut really wonky, I'm going to try to trim it real quickly. I should have grabbed my other scissors, but they're a lot sharper. Um, that's okay. <laughs> I could have done a little bit better. Let me see if she has one in her icon section. She probably doesn't. No, because she has it as... This is okay. I'm just gonna stick that right there to mark that I wanted to paint my nails. And then Saturday, I will definitely have to film. 
so um, let me see because I know Sunday I want to put a half box for Mother's Day let's let's do this polka dot one that's cute so I want to do that for Mother's Day and then jumping back to Saturday um, I was hoping she would have a camera icon which she doesn't but I'm going to take the laptop one for Sunday to mark um, that I have to edit and then here I want to mark new releases And then film, I have to film. So maybe we'll use the star and the gray, perfect. If that'll fit, ugh. Let's see if I can move this down a smidge. So I'm just going to go in and cover these with glitter headers. I think I'm going to do... Mm, I was thinking the gray, but now I'm like... Or I was thinking the blue, but now I'm like, maybe I'll do the gray. I think I'll do the gray. So I'll be right back after I do that. Okay, so I just went ahead and put the glitter headers down. I filled this in over here, and then I filled it out what I could down here. Um, I'll quickly show you what I have left in the kit. It's all kind of... So I used up the full boxes, a half box, and one of the appointment lab labels, and one of the heart checklists. Um, the washi, some washi strips, the heart check flags, all the flags over there, weekend banner. Um, some of the headers, some of the little things, some of the sidebar things, and then most of the glitter, or yeah, most of the glitter headers, the date covers. There's still a bunch of deco left. I don't want to clutter it, so I didn't do anything more. Maybe um, once this gets filled in, I can add in some more of that. But yeah, so that is what's left. Again, this kit was from Planning Choco or Planning Choco. Again, not sure, but it will be listed down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do, please subscribe and like this video. And of course, I will see you next time. Bye.